third down and two. Bradshaw at third and two. Wide open was number 82, Stallworth. And he was open from the time he left the line of scrimmage. He has the first down up to 38. But right now, it is not working. Stallworth is there and makes that beautiful diving catch at the 15-yard line. Then John Stallworth, and we told you he's having a great year. 31-yard field goal. He's 6 to 12 of the year. And no good. Roy Torella not having the kind of year the Steeler fans expect. Pass to a tight end. And off goes to number 26, Bob Carpenter, and he so often does on short yardage with everyone at the line of scrimmage. He found the opening, popped it for a first down at the 40-yard line, taken by Mike Wagner there. Set back, another good receiver, Ronnie Coleman. Third and nine, white shoes in motion. Wide open, number 47, Ronnie Coleman. So the special offensive set on the part of the Oilers pays off as the Oilers move for a first down at the 36-yard line of the Steelers. No score in the game. And double-O, Ken Burrow. That's the rating. Screen, Carpenter. And Carpenter taken by Jack Ham, but he's close to a first down, down at the 26-yard line. He may have it, Giff, and we told you about Carpenter. He is no... Third rate subs. Campbell, single setback, number 34. Gets the call, a fake, that is, and around comes number 88, Rich Castor. Castor gets to the nine yard line, first down. Good play action on the part of Campbell. Pastorini tucked it away, gave it to the big man, acquired from the Jets, as you probably know, earlier in the year. A three time pro bowler for the Jets. And Carpenter needing Campbell. Campbell, let's boom. 27 pounds, and can he accelerate? He gets down pass. close to the two-yard line. He's number 78. 76. On third down, Campbell. They're saying he got it in the end zone. He broke the plane. Touchdown, Houston. The quick toss, Franco Harris. And Harris accelerates and explodes out to the 45-yard line. First down, Steelers. Ted Washington made the stop for the Houston Oilers. 7-0, the Steelers have the football, their own 45-yard line. Second and 10, Bradshaw's back. Fires over the middle, complete to the tight end. Randy Grossman, number 84. Grossman short of the first down. He had to get to the 45, he did not. Robert Brazil made the stop. He is hurt and can't play tonight. Third and short, Franco Harris gets the ball, the flag is down. Harris has the first down and much more as he goes close to the 40-yard line up in last year. Face off side. First down for themselves. A gain of two. Franco Harris and Davis is second down and eight. Bradshaw finds Grossman wide open over the middle. And Bradshaw comes right back with the play that's worked for him. Mike Reinfeldt made the stop as he did before, but they're laying off Randy Grossman tomorrow night in New York City. On second down and eight. two plays ago. He was out for one play back in and that superb combination that we picturized at the very opening of the telecast. Still another touchdown. Willie Alexander trying to offer the coverage but again when Swan is running a pass pattern down around the goal line. One thing Terry Bradshaw knows is that Swan's going to go for it with everything he's got. And we change the ball. Third and eight. Strong arms that does Pastorini to Mike Barber, and Barber drops the football. And the Steeler has the ball. Donnie Shell. Jack Hand was all over Mike Barber. And what an opportunistic player he is. He will get that football out of there if he gets the opportunity. That second and nine. Swan back in, but this is Franco Harris. Harris turns the corner. Turns on a burst of speed, gets the first down as he rolls down inside the 13-yard line. Knopf took him out of bounds. What a beautiful run by Franco. He was going to cut back inside the outside defender. But quickly, he noticed that the way to go was outside, and that's the one of the great things, one of the keys to Harris's excellence. Now watch this. Going to cut back. No, there was the block. He took advantage of it, and the quick acceleration, and a lot of yardage, good enough for a first down. What? Stallworth wide open. 
open. Oh, and he was concentrating on keeping his feet in the end zone. He drops the football. It was a pass that should have been thrown much better than that because he was really wide open. He missed from 31 yards out. He's 6 of 13 on the year. Not that one. That's perfect. Garella puts the Steelers out in front for the first time tonight. Double zero the wide receivers. Astorini throws it away. Ham all over the intended receiver was Earl Campbell, and a flag goes down. Mounts. Draw play. Ronnie Coleman. Coleman has the first down, gets to the 45 yard line. Caster and Caster holds on, moves inside the 25-yard line. Pastorini uses his last timeout. And that remains on the scoreboard. 26 seconds for the draw play, and it goes to Ronnie Coleman. And Ronnie Coleman. A funny call because there's no way you can stop the clock. The seconds are ticking away. 15 seconds. Inexplicable call. Now this will be a pass. Pastorini will try and complete, but he'd be willing to throw it away also, which he does. Killing the clock with six seconds. Inexplicable call when he ran the ball into the middle. Ten yards. This will be in a 39-yard attempt. Perfect. We have a tied football game with one second remaining on the scoreboard clock. Chip drops out the window, but there are the two wild card spots. The handoff. Earl Campbell in. Earl Campbell has a first down out of the 40-yard line to the 42. We'll just let it rip. Disregarding the run totally. Good protection. Man open. Complete. And it goes to the tight end. Mike Barbary has a first down, and he's still on his feet and battling. <laughs> down at the 37. The first and 10. 37-yard line of the Steelers. The end around Rich Caster. Caster with the great speed has another Oiler first down as he runs into Wagner and pushes Wagner back for the first. Unit in for the Oilers. Protection, Pastorini into the pocket, fires over the middle, oh. and the little one, Mike Renfro, holds on, first and goal for the Houston Oilers. Season. Touchdown. Earl Campbell, his second of the night. And the Steelers with the ball. 4.56 remaining in the third quarter. This is Franco Harris. Again, trying the left side, and again a loss. But they, again, the great veteran defensive end, having one of his better years in recent years. Ball at midfield. They have a first and ten. The quick toss goes out to Rob Carpenter. And Carpenter sprints to the outside, gets a first down out around the 38-yard line. More than concern, even panic. And good defensive play on the part of the Oilers as Earl Campbell gets the call and sees a hole in the inside, breaks back, picks up six yards. It'll be second down and four. And Mark the, now at the 31. Rob Carpenter, quick toss. Sensational play, guess who? Jack Lambert. Bradshaw on the second and four. Finds a man wide open. It is the tight end again, Randy Grossman. And they are going to have to put somebody on this man. They've been doing it with linebackers, and the Steelers coaches in the press box picking it up. The Oilers over the Steelers. Final seconds of the third quarter. Bradshaw to Grossman. Beautiful. And again, they let Grossman run free. The flag was down. Back where Bradshaw released the ball. And the penalty tacked on following the reception. Here's the call. Referee Ben Wright. foul. Roughing the passer. 52. First down. Be run. Bradshaw went on Lynch. Juan deep. He was covered. He dumps it off to Harris. And Harris does a little nifty footwork and gets down to the 23-yard line. Randy Grossman, the Steelers at the 23-yard line, second down and two. They trail by seven. Going again, intended for Lynn Swan, and again defending Mike Reinhold, Reinfeldt. Third down and two. The ball at the 23-yard line. They trail the Oilers by seven. Getting the call, Rocky Blyer. I do not believe he got the first down. He'll be 
short. It's going to be first down. Fourth down, a tough decision for the Steelers. The 22-yard line of the Houston Oilers. On fourth down. Throws the ball behind Franco Harris. The Oilers will take over. Goes the wide receivers on the passing down. Barber's open. And Barber collects the ball and a key passing play. Third down and six, and Pastorini was right on target. Campbell, and he finds it open and turns it on. Look out. Gets away from Wagner and finally Shell makes the save at the 22 yard line. And have you ever seen a man? Beautiful. Maybe with the exception of Jimmy Brown, I don't think I've seen one at 230 pounds that can do what he does, agility and speed. Mike Wagner's still down for the Steelers, but look at this. That is a big man with that kind of a move. I'll tell you, Mike Wagner was down, and Lauren Taves was slow getting up. <laughs> Play action fake. Screen to Burles, the flanker. Burles moves behind a block and moves down close to the 10-yard line. He has another Oiler first down. And they open them in the opening game of the season. Second and goal. Rob Carpenter shakes off one Steeler, runs into Jack Ham, but still pulls forward to the five-yard line. Ah, tempers flaring. Lows being exchanged ineffectively. Up and the line. Flies. And it's the place to have a penalty. in motion. The ball is oh. back loose from Rob Carpenter. Carpenter hit hard. The ball back loose. No does not believe that he's going to get out of this. I'll tell you, this is a great football game. It has everything. It has the feel and flow of yesterday's Miami-New England game. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Down. Campbell's third of the night. Flag is down again. Steelers again. Defense offsides. Decline. Touchdown, Houston. He accepts the ball at the six. A nifty move, and he gets to the outside. And Pittsburgh, good field position. Anderson all the way to midfield. Bill Courier picks him out of bounds there. Steelers are down 14. Bradshaw knows he's going to have to have a quick one. Grossman over the middle. He's been open all night. The Oilers tonight. A fired up bunch of Houston Oilers. And look at that play by Robert Brazil as he dumps Franco Harris behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one. Bethay jumps off. He did not get back. Bradshaw has a three pass. Goes out to Rocky Blyer. Blyer has the first down. Terry Bradshaw knows the kind of game he's in. He's got to get something big. Franco Harris, draw play, and Harris erupts for nine yards. Seconds ticking away, 8.30 on the clock. Second down on a long one. He goes to Rocky Blair, he has the first down. He's down to the 22-yard line. Stallworth is in the slot. Play action fake. Bradshaw wants swan. He finds it in the oh. end touchdown. Flag is down, but I believe it was roughing against Bradshaw. Maybe not. It's going to come back, as we just saw. First down and 20. Bradshaw loses the football. Ray Penny, as he has, has earlier in the game, was there for the recovery. You see Wilson in, in the secondary, laying well off. Bradshaw, a lot of running room. Oh, and Brazil upends Bradshaw, oh. flag goes down. Flags all over the lot. Personal foul. Late. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. First down. Streak of nine consecutive victories. He's quarterbacking now. Hands off to Franco Harris. Now this team is alive. Six consecutive years. Two Super Bowl championships. Trying to remain undefeated. Third down. Long two. Bradshaw. A lot of time. No receiver. Finds one. Guess who? Lynch one. Of course. He's always there. Oilers over the Steelers. The Oilers looking for an onside kick. And they're going to get it. Has to go 10 yards. The Steelers have the ball. 
First and ten Steelers down by seven from their own 46 yard line. Bradshaw to the air. Grossman. First down Steelers. 41 yard line of the Oilers. The entire season thus far only had five. Grossman again. Eighth reception of the night. He's been the factor. The 38 and Franco Harris 32. 429 remaining in the game. A tip to Grossman. Oh, he gets the deflection. When you're hot, you're hot. Sets his team. First and ten. The ball at the 15. Bradshaw throws a right into the arms of Kurt Knopf. Oh, Terry. And that picture will tell you more than any words could ever say. Parsley. Good kick. T.O. Bell moves back to take it at his own 42. And T.O. Bell still on his feet. Gets out of bounds. All the play. Swan far to the right. Stalwart to the left. Franco Harris. Harris inside the 35. Short of the first down at the 34. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers with the seconds ticking away. Plays in the huddle in this two-minute speed-up offense. It's a draw play to Harris. And what a surprising call. We'll go for the completion. If he doesn't get it, he'll kill the clock. Over the middle, intended for Stallworth, and he is drilled there by Mike Reinford. It has 58 seconds. On second and 10, Bradshaw back again. Fires for Grossman, and Grossman this time picked up by Greg Stimrick. Covered well. Bradshaw could not hit him. Bradshaw, a lot of running room. He gets the first, first down. down. About this Houston defense, so let's see what they come with. They cannot stop the clock anymore. No timeouts. And they're almost picked off by Knopf once again, intended for Swan. Going for T.O. Bell. Good defensive play by Stemrick, who's been superb tonight. off up the middle. Can get a first down if they can get inside the four-yard line. No. Incomplete. The Oilers take over 10 seconds on the clock and they, for all intent and purposes, have won this football game. Teams, this will be the final play of the game. The Steelers cannot stop the clock. Dan Pastorini drops to his knees. The flag is down. Or it was just dropped, apparently, by official. No, now they have stopped the clock. Campbell on the night. Not bad, Howard. 21 carries, 89 yards. The most gained by any back as the game ends. Rush, most gained by any back against the Steelers thus far this season. A brilliant performance by the brilliant rookie. And there is no undefeated team in the National Football League as the season's halfway mark comes to an end. And the Houston Oilers will be heard from along the way.